Welcome. Welcome to the Kingdom Living Broadcast on Advent Broadcast Network. This is your host, Kennedy Vantapool. Thank you for joining us. T today we embark upon a new program. This will be a three to five minute daily nugget to prepare you for kingdom living. It is designed to help you to understand how you should live daily as the king God created you to be. Let us pray for this series and how it will impact our lives the way God designed. Heavenly Father, thank you again for this privilege, again for this opportunity to use the airwaves to advance your kingdom. We pray your blessing and anointing upon us as we go through this series. We pray your blessing and anointing upon Advent Broadcast Network. We pray your blessing upon the listeners. May we begin to understand this concept of the kingdom of God and begin to live in your kingdom, we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Here's the format we're going to be using. It will begin with a question, and I'll read a text from the Bible and give you further explanation. Today and tomorrow, we'll be dealing with the introduction of this broadcast. Then we'll proceed to help you live as the king God made you to be. Now, this is not just for males. In God's kingdom, females are kings as well. That is why he is king of kings and not king of queens. Can you answer these questions? What message should the child of God be living and teaching today? What is the subject, if understood and live, could bring about unity in your life and in the body of Christ? What is the subject that brought about unity among the early believers? It is a subject that Jesus was sent to live and to preach. Let's look at the book of Luke. Luke chapter 4 and verse 43 says, and he said unto them, I must preach the kingdom of God to other cities also, for therefore am I sent. So even after Jesus was crucified and resurrected, he continued this message in Acts chapter 1 and verse 3. To whom also he showed himself alive after his passion by many infallible proofs, see, being seen of them forty days, and speaking of things pertaining to the kingdom of God. As I was presenting this message of the kingdom, many were saying it is too complicated. And I realized it was not the message that was complicated, it was me making it complicated. And so the Spirit has led me to the preparation of these nuggets to help me simplify it. And here's a question you must be able to answer. What is the Bible about? It is about the king, his kingdom, his subjects who are kings, and the restoration of his kingdom. See, God wanted to expand his kingdom, and so, being God, he created one. The enemy came along, and Adam and Eve sold it, gave it to the enemy. But Jesus came and restored it to you, the rightful owner. You were therefore created as kings to live in a kingdom. You see, sin is rebelling against the king of kings and wanting to set up your own kingdom. That is why Cain killed Abel. See, he did not like the kingdom of God and how God ruled it, and so he wanted to set up his own. The Antediluvians, uh, those before the flood, were not pleased with the kingdom that God established either. He told them to be fruitful and multiply and fill the earth. Instead, they wanted to go up to heaven and take over God's kingdom. Lucifer. Lucifer wanted to set up his kingdom. That's how it all started, above the king of kings, according to Isaiah chapter 14, verses 12 to 14. So you have to examine your life. Are you trying to set up your kingdom above the kingdom of God? You see, when you rebel or go against the will of God, that is exactly what you're trying to do. So don't set up your own kingdom. Live in the kingdom of God, and you will enjoy all the benefits that he has in store for you. So please stay tuned to Advent Broadcast Network and may the peace of God accompany you in all that you do. Thank you for being a part of this new series is my prayer in Jesus' name.